Now, when a fat cell is getting big, which is that it starts to reach a point of maximum dimension that becomes damaging to a cell, a cell can only get so big. Every cell has its natural limits. The fat cell is reaching its natural limit, and thus it becomes insulin resistant in order to prevent further growth. So it becomes insulin resistant to save itself, little knowing that the cells downstream, which eventually would be all the cells of the body, are actually having to pick up the burden as the cell is leaking free fatty acids. There are some kind of actionable items here. We would think, well, how could we help prevent our fat cells from getting too big? Well, there are multiple ways to do this because we know there are multiple molecules that will contribute to fat cell hypertrophy. 